assholes. You are now fucking listening to the Two Clouded Mind Show with Chris. What would it take for Ryan to suck a dick? And Ryan. Oh God, you just coughed all over me. With special guest appearances, unique games, and contests. Give us a goddamn call. 669-241-2420. Or stalk us like your girlfriends do. On Facebook and Instagram at the Two Clouded Mind Show. Let's get fucking clouded. It's the Two Clouded Mind Show. I, I feel that. The other day, I just literally, the other day I saw my first spotted lantern fly. I was actually oh. kind of pumped. I was kind of oh. pumped on it. Don't get me started. Dude, I walked up on it, and I was like, what would the kids do? I took a selfie with it. <laughs> I posted it on Facebook, and I was like, no, nah, I didn't kill it. Fly, little bug, fly. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, it's, it's fucked. Like, they keep telling everybody to kill I feel bad. I don't have the yeah, heart. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know. Like, I feel bad, too. If there's a fly too. in my house, like, I, I have a it's technique. Yeah, I've got yeah, it yeah. down. I catch him with a, a solo cup and a piece of paper. Bam, catch that motherfucker. Take it outside, yeah. and it's good. What are we talking about? Spotted flies. lantern flies. I, I honestly, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. They're they, destroying our environment. They are for killing sure. all the trees. Back. Well, so I, me and my dad cut down a, a branch the other day, mm-hmm. and when the thing hit the ground, like literally hundreds of these things just started Came walking out of over it. the drive. I would run away. Yeah, I've they, never seen, it was like they a swarm. eat it like inside out. It's I've never crazy. seen anything like it. They kind of look like they were from Stranger Things. Yes. Oh, yep. there, here's the worst part. This is where I didn't mind them until this, right? So on the leaves, there's like all like this sticky shit, and it keeps getting on my car. And, like, I hate having a dirty car. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. I clean my yeah. car more than I clean myself. Like, I, I hate that shit. Fair. Fair. It's fucking, there's Usually all this people shit. say their rooms. Yeah, that's but. true. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. No, your room's pretty clean. It's well, got to be. It's, it's yeah, all right it sometimes. Yeah. It's just, well, what's behind the camera, you don't need to know. Okay. You know? It's just what's in front of the camera's clean. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, no, it's just all this sticky shit. I realize it's, it's bug shit. Mm-hmm. They, they go out, they, they piss and shit all over my car. Oh my god! It's disgusting. I was, I was like, I was like, send them an invoice. I was gonna have to send them an eviction notice. So we just <laughs> have a branch guy. I mean, if oh, they man. keep paying their invoices, they could live there. Hey, honestly, if I had a dollar for every fly that was income. on that branch, like that would be nice. Like, yeah, you know, that's, that's yeah, passive income. If they you. give we should you get like microchips a or uh, <laughs> you know, like spotter lantern fly vaccines. You would need like, oh, yeah. I was gonna say like, well, you need I was gonna ask like, what are you supposed them? to do? Because we have like fifty of them on one of my trees in the backyard. Let them fly. I don't know what to Let's do. Let's capture just one. I just and put a them. little microphone in like a, what are those jars yeah, that they, like, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. we could. Well, I honestly them. don't know what sound they make. Uh, who I don't knows? Know if they make. Do you think it's like a cricket? It, it's just like their wings flapping, but like not. Like that sound. I don't think it would be as fast as a fly, like Mm-mm. a house fly. No, those things fucking well, attack you. It's kind of like a beetle, fast. isn't it? If you ever the try to step on one, they like... Oh, they jump. No, oh. they jump. Yeah, man. I I, pee, I was... All right. Walking out of the house on the balcony where I was at and just woke up and was just in my boxers and I okay. literally went to go out and a spotter lantern fly was there, so I like threw something at it. Uh-huh. And it, it jumped at me, and I screamed like a little girl. It's like girl. John Wick, man. Oh, <laughs> it's, that's it's like... It didn't jump at me. Oh, my God. You, yeah. you actually took the selfie. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yo, and it, it, it didn't jump at you or anything. It, it, it kind of liked you. He oh, probably sure. blew smoke in his face. Yo, so it's <laughs> getting real. I got it really high. <laughs> I got it high. You're like, this guy's already... We found out the solution. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One of us. Yeah. Maybe that's it. They just like calm down I mean, and chill out. I mean, I think, yeah, I don't know. I think we're, we need to do more research before they start just calling a fucking, putting a bounty on these fucking poor things. They yeah. are. I'm sure they did research. Oh, I'm just telling you that. I, I'm just, I just can't I do know. it. Like, my Snapple I feel facts bad. Podcast. I don't know about you guys, but like one of my favorite like things to do when I'm bored is go on like the Facebook group for like the town I grew up in. Oh my god, and the trash like, talking, oh my god, the drama, the drama is unreal. Like, people just like the amount of time these people oh take my... to write these comments. Sometimes, I know, and it's all insane. they're arguing it's either about these spotted lantern flies, right? Fireworks for the... <laughs> with their dog. Fireworks for the dog or kids beating up on the beach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Yeah, wow, it's so entertaining. I think that's every single town too. It's, it's like the nuts. same issues. I don't give a fuck. The only thing I give a fuck. <laughs> about my town there's like i'm biased like not even biased but my hypocrite really is what the word i was looking for mm-hmm. if i park my trailer on like the side of my oh house my you know but oh, this other guy problem. when i make a left into my neighborhood there's this fucking fedex truck preach about right it there. right mm-hmm. there let him know right mm-hmm. there let Listen, him know fedex guy do motherfucker you, you're Yo. just leaving your abandoned fedex truck overnight for like 12 hours in my neighborhood we're fed up with it and people <laughs> are gonna just be like yeah i could steal shit from that fedex truck and once they rob you they're gonna come to me because mm-hmm. i have a trailer and they're gonna be like what is in that 
Yep. Yeah. And it's worth way more than. Yo, what's you got to listen. FedEx you got to be careful of how you. It's approach loaded the FedEx with guy. bombs. That, that's your packages, man. Yeah. You don't yeah. want somebody to fuck with your packages. Don't piss yeah. him yeah. off. <laughs> don't piss that guy <laughs> off. You, you give but him. I, well, I can piss him know. off because he ain't in my town. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Maybe he's gonna guy. switch his route now, like just to fuck with you. Yeah. Right. I'm so nice to the FedEx guys. I'll be like, hey, do you guys want like an ice cold water, Gatorade, or something? You know, try to get on their good side. And at Christmas, oh. I give them a bottle of wine and stuff. Uh, that's that's, actually, that's like really nice. Mm-hmm. That's like mm. that's. I bet you nobody else is that nice to the FedEx guy. Yeah, not me. Like, yeah. is he creepy I, to you? Now? I tip the garbage man. No, at, you? at, at Christmas, Beautiful. yeah, I give the garbage. How man did you like leave like a surprise in, on the garbage can for them? Or, no, like, I walk find, straight out. I go out. Yeah. yeah, he just leaves dollar bills in the garbage <laughs> can, just stacked, yeah, just, like a a just a bag, just a whole bag. They go to empty it, and they're just like raining. Yeah, it's wild. You can see it sometimes. Have to, no, you gotta just, tip I'll your just garbage go out there guys. Right to them. Yeah, uh, like the week of or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just. yeah, yeah. That's I nice. do that with a holiday card. I give them everything. The mailman too. All that's, those that's people. Fine. I just watched something on that. Like you know, if if you have an issue with like your garbage guys, like not taking all your garbage, mm-hmm. or if you leave cardboard on side or whatever, like they'll be nice to you. They under, they understand because they're like human beings, you know. Yeah. So like they'll be sympathetic. But if you start doing shit to piss them off. Mm-hmm. Oh. They just won't even like fuck with you anymore. Yeah. They'll be like, you, oh cool. Like what leave I love, it in your ass. I love about them is like they're so nice to kids always. Like my yeah. niece right now is obsessed with the garbage man That's and so dump funny. trucks and things. So she'll like run out when she hears them coming and then they like get out and they say hi. They wave at her. They'll like sometimes have like cold drinks in their cooler and give her one. And so yeah. it's so cute. Make sure it's sealed. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yes. it's not creepy. It's all good. My garbage man <laughs> literally scoop my garbage, put it in, and then walk my can back to the no, house. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's trash nice. and recycling. That's pretty good. Wow, that oh, is like they top don't do tier. it for everybody else. I yeah, swear. Yeah. I asked Melissa <laughs> the other day. I was like, "Did they do it?" She's like, "No." Just our house. Like, Damn. Maybe you're the only one that like it's tips tip. them and stuff. Yeah. You know, they tip. appreciate yeah, it. That's just nice. the tip. It's just, yeah, it's it's all just the tip. Sometimes. That little tip, it's worth it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It goes a long way. It does. People just want to yeah. be appreciated, man. That's, that's yeah. what it comes down that's to. That's really what it comes down to. That a lot. Like I feel like I've been having this man. conversation a lot with people lately. There's a lot of unappreciation. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. That's a correct you know term, I mean. right? You know, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, even that's what we There's were talking about. There's a lot of about. not appreciation. There's a lack of appreciation. Lack of, there you yeah, go. Yeah, I fucked it up worse. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. No, like, even like that's what we were talking about last time I was over here. Like mm-hmm. when we were saying after you did the sound for my gig, like I watched those videos back and like I heard all the things that you were doing to my sound, like the, like adding you. you know delays here and there. Like you you actually worked. Yeah. And, like, so many sound guys, like, don't do that. And, like, a lot of people just don't understand, like, when there's, like, good sound, man, like, the amount of work that actually goes into that shit. There's, like, mm-hmm. a producing factor that goes yeah. to it, not just the uh, sound reinforcement. People think, okay, you just plug everything in and then just sit there. Like, mm-hmm. no. Like, it, there's a lot more to it than that, you know? Yeah. At Matt Reardon on that one. Yeah. What's it take to be a sound guy now? <laughs> he was in the hot seat. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna leave. Aww. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, dude, I would have. I was straight You would have left? Walked out. <laughs> Chris. Walked, and he knows I would have. He knows I would have. <laughs> we wouldn't have talked for two weeks, and then it would have been fine. That's usually how Chris and I make I would have just blocked. <laughs> it's usually <laughs> like a long text message followed by a, you want to smoke weed? Yeah. <laughs> I would have walked out of the gig, blocked him on all social medias. Oh, so he can't get you? <laughs> <laughs> Smart. That's genius. I went to delete Chris and everybody like two cloud of mind show off of my uh like my social media. Yeah. And it was just like, oh well, you'll no longer have access to like all of these pages that are like linked to my profile. I was like, Aww, what the fuck? Yeah. It's like I can't do can't that. do it. Like starting all over on uh you know oh, on, oh, on TikTok. Dude, and... that was a nightmare. Oh. Wait, what? Explain this. I got banned from TikTok. Like, yes. This was like a month or two ago. <laughs> really? I got banned because For what? I posted a video, right? And well, before, okay, let, let me backtrack. So I was definitely shadow banned before they actually removed me. So I had a situation where they removed a bunch of my videos for literally no reason. Like one was a video of me reacting to like uh, like a, a SpaceX launch. Mm-hmm. And they said da- for dangerous activity, they took that down. What? Then they removed one of me singing for some girl because she had a vape. 
which they're so strict about that. You guys probably know. It's like, mm-hmm. so I have to go through now and like meticulously like blur every frame. Why? Where this yeah. Is. yeah. See, he's That's the TikTok crazy. guy. I'm... It's it's so annoying, man. I just clip around the one way smoke. Shit like that. And then I had one situation where I think some bot like mass reported my shit. So like I had all these videos getting removed. It was like the perfect storm. And then I posted a video where it's like 12 year old me would be proud of what I'm doing today. It was like, mm-hmm. a, a, you know, a couple of clips yeah. of cool shit. Right. They took that as, oh, he's 12. Let's delete his account. Oh, so like, TikToks, no. they sent me a note to say you're underage and we're, your account has been deleted. And were you like, I you have a beard? You can't. <laughs> well, there's a one button. There's a little appeal button. So I hit that. And you send a picture of your driver's license. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that's it. So I, I'm waiting and waiting. Like weeks go by. It's been like a month at this point. And Still then waiting. like, yeah, I got it. Basically, like I, some sketchy shit, like to get it back. But it was, I got it back yeah. at the end of the day. But it took me out of work for. I mean, like keep mind, that's like half my livelihood. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. So like, you I had to I collect fifty four skins. Yeah, fifty four skins. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many to, to make that video? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, no, nah, but like, dude, it, it was a nightmare. <laughs> Playing for dicks. And I was ready though. I was literally, I was ready. I, I'm at, I think I'm at six fifty k right now. And I was ready to just just start over. I was ready to just fucking start from square one. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I did this in half a year. I'll do it again. Fuck it. Nice. I'm going to do it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was so mentally prepared to do it. And as I was getting ready to, like, make the new account and, and start over, bam, your account's un- unbanned. I was like, thank you, God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. God. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you had the, the push to do it, no, it, and that's all. I'll tell you what. The timing really sucked, too, because I was dropping a new song. And I, you know, like now that I had like this platform on TikTok and YouTube, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to spend a dime on promotion for this. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do any PR. I'm just going to, you know, promote it through my, my social media and see what happens. And I, that was my whole game plan. The day before the song went out yeah. is when I got banned. Uh. And it like, it killed the first week of the release on me. Yeah. And it was like, Bummer. I was like, I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> like, so how did you, like, what made you decide one day that you just wanted to do covers and why omegle and Dude. first off not to cut you off yeah yeah tell the Explain people who you are oh, hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're just vibing introduce yourself introduce yourself what are, uh, who are you what do you do my name is, where are you? <laughs> this is over here. who are there. you and what do you do <laughs> <laughs> who is your daddy and, and what, what does do you he do, do? Uh, 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 i don't know what do i do fuck it's really i don't even know what i do anymore i so like content name, creation uh, yeah content creator my name is billy wilkins i make uh well i'm a musician that, First and foremost. Yeah. But now I make like YouTube and TikTok videos and What's I'm, up, baby? Yeah, Take hey. me out the day. Byron. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm a mess. I, I feel like I've been just every month I'm adding another thing under my belt and like trying to do something new. So I don't know. I'm basically somebody that's just trying a bunch of different shit and Jack of all trades. <laughs> so I feel I like know. that's how what that, you have though. to do. I've tried in like and, this and world. Mm-hmm. This is gonna sound like the old man in me. <laughs> And I hate myself for saying it, but I feel like you said you're 25 years of age. Yeah, yeah. I feel like your generation is in the pocket to do stuff like that more comfortably than, like, mine. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the amount of opportunities. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Unreal. Well, just like everything happened from, like, fast food to fast fashion, it's just, like, kind of, like, fast employment in a way. Yeah. Yeah. But like you said, you you know, you keep taking all these things. Dude, keep doing it, man. You have to. Keep fucking grinding. Well, That's I'll tell sick. you what, man. I mean, like, the, really, when the pandemic started, because, you know, my whole life before all this shit was, you know, I'd play at the bars and I would teach guitar. And that was mm-hmm. it. So I'd play at the bars every week and I'd teach guitar during the week. And that was it. That was my life. And I, I had a couple songs that went out, but I didn't really do anything that cool yet. And then when the pandemic happened, I was like, you just lose everything so yeah. quick. Like, mm-hmm. you guys know how good even gigs, like, yeah. everything mm-hmm. instantly gone. Mm-hmm. Like, fucking Thanos snapped out of existence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you had to and find like, yourself. Again. It's pretty much, it puts you in a situation where it's like adapt or die. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. They and deleted your TikTok account, like, yeah. it, but real life. Figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty the, much. It, it, you, mm-hmm. you know, and that's how it goes. And, like, a lot of people, like, when they get shit thrown at them, they play, like, all oh, the poor me card or this mm-hmm. and that. Like, so many of my musician friends just didn't do, they just sat around and existed those two years. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But like I was like, okay, well there's there's got I gotta find something good in this. Yeah. Find some kind of an opportunity, find some kind of way to, to do work. So uh, social media was the only outlet where I could still perform for people. Mm-hmm. And that was it. So that was really how it started. That's cool. We had buddies that like did gaming, like we all, yeah. we all gamed for a while. Oh that's it really and that's kind of what it got what got it started because uh shout out to Gabe. He he started Twitch streaming, uh, a bunch of different video games. Started out with like uh, Brawlhalla. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? What did we play? 
God. Dude, we played Call of Duty. I love that. First of all, and I'm proud of this, that I'm the worst Call of Duty player ever. <laughs> you don't want me on your team, but you want me on your team. I'm the comic it, it relief. Was like there comic. has to be yeah. comic relief. Yeah. Yeah. Every yeah. good stream, you it's a team. Like People want to see characters, man. Like yeah. They want to see that interaction. It's yeah. like, That's I, half of it. Yeah, I run around like an idiot. Every time I get a kill, I'm like, ah, I freak out. <laughs> but like to every kill I get. Oh, man. Thank you. Every kill I get. I keep looking at like these. Uh, <laughs> infinity stones I'm on the chilling. floor. Thank you. Thank I want to. Can we try these? Can we bring these up? Yeah, I just needed to uh, my, need something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Palette cleanser. Same. Oh my god. What are these? I what don't are know those? What, this is. what are those? What are those? That should be a button. <laughs> that should. Yeah. I haven't messed with this in a while. I, I just will. fucking deleted everything. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> get it out of here. <laughs> Everything's just wipe it away. Yeah. <laughs> Technology. Over. Five fingers. Wow, so what are these, actually? So I taught at uh, Pino's in Highland Park. Yeah, you did. Yesterday. Talk I did, about it. <laughs> I did a um, paint, plant, and sip event. So we, I showed everyone how to paint like a modern style terracotta pot, and then we planted succulents, and they got to like hang out and drink and have pizza and stuff. <laughs> <Love those pizza. laughs> but the bar was selling these CBD drinks. These are cool. And of course, I was like, oh, I got to grab some of these for the podcast. We got to try these out because it's a different brand that we haven't had yet. And there are um, three flavors. Yep. There's, well, so Whatever they have four, with, um, but I picked those three. So the we'll other see. Is there really, like, do we have a code or like something like that? We um, never, we just said fuck it. I have a 10% off or 20% off for uh, Calo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sweet. And then we're trying to get them on we're the really show, doing so they great might with that. they might be on <laughs> this <soon. laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're just about to like talk about their competitors. Speaking of competitors, no, we got we got three test. flavors. We're gonna drop those links later. I promise you, you will have a code to get those Kalo drinks. Well, here's the thing: like you gotta shop around and try things and see how good one is against the other. We'll try it's it so you don't have to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah these yes. flavors are like a little that. like they're a little bit more involved I'm into that. too. Like, do you Sick. see? There's one that's like Fast blackberry, times. basil, cucumber, something. lime, mint. Wait, mm-hmm. blackberry, basil sounds. It's so blueberry, good. blackberry, so, these basil. These are bougie drinks, man. These are like Sorry. yeah, these are a little bougie. Yeah, that is definitely. A, a Night moves sound. sounds a little that's frisky. That's the one. That's the one I wanted. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah! Blackberry, blueberry, basil. and basil. Mm. So nice sounds like a nice compote I would make to put over can, like a dessert. Fancy. Yeah. Huh. And then we have Breakfast Club. Yeah. I, like I like that the name. name. I like, right? the name I like too. that name too. I'm like anything yeah. breakfast. I love you that got movie. Yeah. So Blood Orange. Oh, mm-hmm. ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And yep. mint. Yeah. There's That's a lot of flavors nice happening in these. Wow. And there was a fourth one that they didn't have in stock, but I can find oh, it. I say time. we chug okay. these, try not to burp, and yeah, give a oh, review. I've seen those videos. <laughs> try not to burp. Somebody save me a What's sip the of the one with the basil in it. Who's ever drinking that one? I want to drink one. the basil one for sure. Okay. Save oh, me man. a sip of that for when you're done. So, so wait, we're going to chug this, and not, what's the punishment? Let's see. Uh, if you want, there's got to be a forfeit. Right there. There's got to be a forfeit. There's got to be a punishment. A punishment. Cucumber lime mint. God damn. Um, they sound refreshing. It sounds nice. <laughs> Let's Are they get busy? Some, uh, like, I don't know what to expect. ASMR. I don't really know. I've never tried them before. We talk, it's a diet. Oh, let me it's a CBD based Let's like drink. So. Just soak me up. So yo, during like Just my life, squirt games, in my I eye. <laughs> Rate that crack. Okay. Oh, you know, we, every, nice. I, whenever I try a new seltzer or something, we, we crack it open. I put a shit ton of reaver bond. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Mm. Yeah, that's the oh, that's best. Nice dude. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Ooh, we got a little splash. So, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Squirter. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, what's the what's the punishment? This smells delicious. You save me some. Don't. This, this, this it's a like chugging a, contest. No, no like, I'll, I'll save you some. Yeah, yeah we'll save you. Like, we'll save you a sip of each. <laughs> <laughs> you, you already got the short straw. I think I'm losing. All right. Uh, yeah, we need a punishment thing. Oh, what's your Shit. punishment? Through the stakes. These things are just getting warmer. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to chug. Just chug. Oh, yeah. If you lose, you lose. No punishment. <laughs> Thoughts? To be fair, it is delicious. And I didn't. That was really good. I left her this. So. Aw, little baby sip. Yeah. <laughs> I really feel that burp. If you want to grab it, you. I'll get it later. All right. Delicious. Well, you might want to drink it. 
no. quicker because it's, this is um get warm fast. Yeah. Delicious. Very though. good, actually. That was actually was a lot better than I thought it was. I'm a I'm a ginger fanatic. Mm-hmm. I so thought it was anything be, with ginger is good. I thought it was going to be weird. It actually it wasn't as fizzy as I thought it would be. It was actually like yeah, it was, it was in fizzy. I had a burp a for like a minute. Uh, I wouldn't say that either. Huh. It wasn't carbonated like that. It was very like light. Lightly. Carbonation. It yeah. was light carbonation. I have mm-hmm. a kick of ginger in my mouth, like it's almost like <laughs> false <laughs> spicy. Oh, oh, that's, yeah. A little. I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, like a little. Nice. Like you have a little sushi, and then you're just like, oh, that would be Blackberry, a nice. Blackberry, blueberry, with sushi. basil. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, lose. I, lost. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when <laughs> you have a game a, with stoners. You can't stoners. make up like a punishment now. Nah, it's too late. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, you just <laughs> lose. Give us a stone. It's almost worse. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's great. Funny. But that was tasty. I, that was good. I, I like that. that. Yeah. I'm Thanks. Sure Seltzer guy. Good. Cool. Thanks. Thank you so much. I can pick up yeah, more. It was really good. So, <sighs> content creator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to touch back more on that. Cause, oh, uh, I'm trying to think, man. It's it's weird. Like whenever I go to the bar now, and like let's, I'm talking with somebody, and they're like, "Yo, what do you do?" I'm like, "Ah." Uh, I guess I make TikToks. I don't know. Do yeah. people like fucking millennial? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, some, any like instantly, people either just assume that I'm like absolutely broke, or like that I'm go I'm a loser. It's like one of those. T- but see, like to me, really? somebody see comes it. up to me and they're like, yeah. "Dude, I'm a content creator." After a conversation, briefly, you could tell if the person's bullshitting or not. Yeah, facts, mm-hmm. facts. That's true. You know what I mean? That's like, true. You could tell somebody knows their shit. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. it's either they try to like oversell it to you yeah. or they're just like uh can you just like get away from me <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> or like subscribe and be cool and like hang yeah. out and you know all their links are at the description below <laughs> <laughs> but it's like us like essentially we are content creators yeah but we're just a talk show we're talking right. you know what i mean we don't do anything crazy extravagant except light our table on fire we did you did do that and use I a chainsaw yeah. I, oh, I think i saw that in the intro yeah. for a yeah. second yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yes that yes, like yes. so we basically <laughs> had a table in our studio and then we needed to get rid of it it's gone now yeah it is definitely <laughs> gone now you know it was, it was actually taken out of my backyard i did not move it it was taken out of my backyard the garbage man no. took it for you it's on sale <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. They were like, oh, we'll help you out. It's we'll out just there take somewhere. This. Yo, it's our tip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's out there hey, garbage men. Yeah. That's crazy. Shout out to garbage men. Yeah. It's so crazy. It was really funny, though, like, when I was banned from TikTok, like, for example, like, like some girl I was talking to at the bar, and she's like, what do you do? I'm like, oh, like, I make TikTok. She's like, oh, how many followers do you have? That's like, the f- always the first. Yeah, yeah. 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 first thing. So I'm like, I don't know. How like, many bodies you have on you? Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> So like, I, I told it's the it, same it's thing. So true. It's so true. It's so, like, what the fuck? It's just so it's, it's if you were like, if you were like, aggressive. I have 14 million subs, and she was like, bullshit, prove it, and you did. Whoa. She'd be sucking your dick immediately. That's so. That's where the story takes a turn <laughs> because I was banned, right? So you couldn't uh, prove I, it. And so I'm like, yeah, she like I have 650k. She's like, yeah, okay. So like, I, I, I was like, I'd show you, but I'm banned right now. She's like, yeah, okay. And I'm like, no, like, re- like, like that's what that's really what I do. She's like, yeah. I'd be okay. like, let me get a photo and permission to post it a was- photo of you <laughs> when I get my account, right? and then give me your oh, number yeah. and I'll, or your social media, and I'll tag you it's on. Like it. They thought I was capping. It was, I, I, uh, it was sad. I, it was, it was rough. It felt like yeah. I got snapped out of existence. Like that's my credibility. Like just, just got like, yeah. yeah. Like, I was like, shit. Like it's, you're like the you're like the new heated seat feature, dude. It, it was it was wild. You know about that? What? If you buy a car now. And you oh, have heated seats. You, you have to pay like a subscription fee for that. What? Wait, what? Yeah, they what? can just turn your heated seats off. I hate no, that. they monthly. can't. Since when? I'm not buying whoever the fuck does it's, that. It's not just a button no. that turns on anymore. Everything now. Like I'm you have apps on your car to be able to remote start. What? That's a subscription now. I'm buying. That's so annoying. I'm buying a new. I'm a, an old car. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Anything I'm yeah. buying an old car. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm. I don't use heated seats. Yeah, but I don't. I'm gonna be the asshole that lets his subscription lapse or forget about something. Yeah. Well, it's just like all those little things add up like, too. Yeah, there's an I app for that, by the way. Oh. I'm not gonna <laughs> mention it because yeah. you don't pay us. Like, dude. Wait, we could we could mention it. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about apps that like regulate your subscription. Oh, sometimes. I know. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I should that. probably do that. I'm gonna mess with that. 
You it's should. Really bad. I've been paying for the same gym membership in, for like years. I haven't been in years. Yeah. I'm still what they'll do <laughs> is like you put in your your card information. I I think that there's a subscription for that specifically mm-hmm. also, which yeah. is fucking wild. That's it's just crazy. like it's kind of like having uh like a gambling a gamblers anonymous in a casino. <laughs> yeah. You know what it is for me. Or though? having a recovery meeting at a poetry reading. Chris. But, <laughs> did I all right. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. 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 No, First of all, it was I a liked joke. It. it was a joke. It I, is a joke. I had fun. And I had fun. speaking of that, I'm an asshole. Yeah. This is a redemption episode because I told Maria also. No, first um, off, we don't need a redemption <laughs> episode because Scarlet Reserve was awesome regardless. Yeah. There, we were not shitting yeah. on them at all. No, we're not just shitting the on them. Poets. No, no, no. Even shitting on the poets. <laughs> I wasn't there. I was just, I was just like, we were just thrown. Thrown and so high that it was like not yeah. meshing well, and we were like, we have to get out of here right and, now. You know, for somebody <laughs> to smoke a joint inside a recovery yes. meeting, yeah, like just I disrespectful. Did, it feels I, yeah, it felt I weird. I feel like a oh, dick. No. Yeah. I, I didn't genuinely didn't know. No, but no I'm not way. sure. That's the vibe and it's like close quarters. There. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. I'm yeah, really not know, sure. Yeah, if we that's didn't what know. This sounds like the type of situation I would end up in. Yeah. All right, so hear their story and then hear mine. It's like fucking night and day. I swear to you, dude. This shit like this happens. To me all the time yeah. like wrong place wrong time yeah. or like not even like that couldn't very well have been just a poetry reading and th- that could have been a, it, a close-knit group of friends that do that all the time they do and they just they're just really whatever they're i think the thing was is like they are all it's like a support system kind of poetry yeah. group right so like they're just all talking about their issues because that's how they get it out. They're writers, and um, we you just want to do poetry in the studio. We just happened to be there for uh, studio the day that all of that stuff was coming out, and it felt odd because we were there smoking like while they were talking about <laughs> all their yeah. issues, yeah. and like, I'm like, I don't no. know if this is okay, but it was held in a smoking lounge so i feel like it okay, was okay so it like, yeah. right yeah, yeah. I don't know. there's a lot of like yeah that's that i would you would never how are you supposed to know <laughs> see we go off the rails so quick like, but anyway yeah. so feel, ryan had this. a really positive experience yeah. the other night that was awesome i left uh bar a and i was like i, I, I want to smoke some weed and i could just smoke weed where wherever mm-hmm. i just do you know yeah. and but i wanted a place to smoke and yeah. and scarlet reserve i've passed it a few times uh you know recently and chris and maria went so i was right. like all right google what time they open till nine o'clock it's eight o'clock okay. you know uh matt who i keep mentioning called me wanted to go oh i heard about this so <laughs> not even through him I drive there and I'm thinking like, all right, I'm going to get there and I'm going to have like 15 minutes. I'll say, hey, Mm -hmm. you know, support the business a little bit and be like, (laughs) yeah, basically just like that. Yeah. It's the whole plan. And I would have. And you just be out. Because what if what if I had what if it was another another poetry meeting that I heard about? And I wasn't trying to like base it (laughs) off of that. This isn't Google reviews or anything like that. But I wanted to experience it for myself. Sure. So when I get there thinking that it's going to be op- like open until 9, it says closed on the door. Oh, shit. And we find another door, and there's people in it. So we just oh. walk right in. <laughs> no. It's a private party. Oh, shit. Uh, and it was uh, an, 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 what is it, elevated experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he uses the same name, but it's shot to scrambled the eggs. Yeah, yeah scrambled the eggs. Which I'll make that connection in a second. Okay. So I get there and there's just a bunch of people sitting in like a U-shaped pattern having meals Mm -hmm. and somebody painting. And then there's a table with psychedelics and marijuana and all these things that uh, are awesome. That we all like. (laughs) We all like them. So what is They're just doing this shit like painting? Yeah, it's just like a, uh, not for sale, but like you pay for the meal and like mm-hmm. these things are included. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? I got you, I got you. Um, and it's just an experience altogether. Sure. So I asked uh, who was working. Will was there. Shout out to Will. Um, shout out to everybody, honestly. It was wild. Um, I get there and this guy comes up to me and he was like, I'm with this cougar over here. Uh, she wants to know how old you are. No <laughs> and I'm like, no shut up, dude. <laughs> and I, I look over and she ain't bad looking, you yeah, know? And I'm yeah. like, oh, hi, uh, I'm 30 and I'm also <laughs> off the market, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for a cougar, yeah. you're over the age for a cougar at 30, right? Yeah, yeah. She wants, she wants uh, that. She yeah, wants yeah, that 25. Yeah. 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 What, what is the, the, the cutoff? 
I don't I think there is 30. one. I would say there. Well, I, I mean, don't I agree guess, with that. I don't know, man. I still live at home, and yeah. you know, <laughs> I have a podcast. Like <laughs> I'm a child. I think, I think it counts. Yeah, it counts. Yeah, I st- she wanted him. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. aside from that, that was cool. It, it made me feel like people knew me in a, nice. in a place that I don't really go to. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and then they invite me to the back because I had my own uh, to the my back. own marijuana. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, behind the scenes, you know, where they were like cooking everything. They wanted to show us like what was on the menu. Sure. Um, we we got to sample a little bit of the menu also, okay. which was great. Good shit. So we're just smoking in the back, watching the event happen, networking. And then I saw scrambled the eggs and they were the people supplying the food. OK. And we have a connection from like a work aspect. Got you. Where, where we know where we kind of have like we're just mutual friends of right. everybody. So I went into a, a private party and ended up knowing like a handful of people there. Oh, OK, there you go. That's what and it was just wild. Yeah. So that's when I used those psychedelics and went to the, sh- the Stone Pony show, A Day to Remember. Oh, yeah, so yeah. okay. The world is Full smaller circle. than That's these crazy. <laughs> like, it's weird how, like, the world is way the smaller than That's a good that night. Nuts? That's a yeah. good night. Like, dude, isn't it the best? Like, sometimes you go, so, like, even, like, you know, li- living in, in Seaside, right? Like, because it shuts down, like, oh, big time. like, real quick. So, like, sometimes mm-hmm. I got it. All my friends are gone after summer's over. So, like, I'll just go do shit by myself. Yeah. And, like, sometimes mm-hmm. I'll go, I'll come up here, go to, like, you know, like, some shit I wouldn't have gone to. Mm-hmm. But I forced myself to go do something, like, and then you run into a bunch of people, you know? Because they're not yeah. there. Right. They're somewhere so else. Yeah, it's like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, how? And it works out. It's mm-hmm. it's awesome. Sometimes I just like doing shit by myself. Yeah, I just always by myself. They were sporting two cloud and mind show stickers. I saw that for yeah, the first time in the we, wild. Uh, like other stuck people have in the yeah, yeah. yeah, that yeah. was yeah. Just a cool feeling. I gotta get on the sticker thing. I think yeah, we, we gotta some. get more. We, gotta we just some. post like put them everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think that's the move because like I always see like I, I I've only been on one tour. But like whenever like my friends go on like like a, you know like their their tours they have stickers they put mm-hmm. them at all these different venues and stuff so like yeah. oh, it's cool yeah. they're like oh yeah well my stickers in the green room at mm-hmm. wherever you, know, you like, know what you should do and I think we should do this too because we currently do not just like there's a group for everything like your neighborhood you yeah. know there's probably like a sticker watchers group. Um, like, we'll think about fuck a fucking job that we had on here recently. Mm-hmm. People just he's got like a hashtag on his sticker and then people will. Hashtag it, and then you can like follow where his stickers are, and they're all over the world. That's crazy. So like, cool. if we just dope? had that on the sticker, yeah. and then people could I want to do that. I want a way without having to go to get my stickers. Hmm? We could do that. So In, like, I guess Spain, you would know about monetization on, oh, like Instagram platforms, oh, like, yeah, like Instagram stores game, though, and right? stuff. Yeah, yeah. So what do you create a website and so, then ha- upload the R- what R- RTPMS code? Is the way well, it's, it depends what you do. Like, there's so many different ways to do it. I mean, obviously, like your profit, like it's the way you guys made like those posters in house, mm-hmm. pretty much, right? You made them yourself, and you're gonna distribute them yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll you'll make more money that way. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But there's a lot of things now. Like, um, I've been using Spring for a little bit for just for some drops, but like they have, uh, they make everything to order. Okay. Yeah. And so you don't have to have the inventory yourself. These guys will make it, and then they'll just ship it out to wherever. But yeah. now, how do you add that to your Instagram? So a lot of them are starting to partner with, like, Twitch. Or, like, I know even, like, um, Stream Elements has, like, a merch shop now. And, and like, Spring, you, you could partner with YouTube. So, like, when you watch one of my YouTube videos right now, if you look right under the video, there's pictures of my merch, and you could just buy it from my YouTube channel. It's, like, Sick. right there. That's awesome. And mm-hmm. now they, they integrated it with Instagram, which I still have to set it up. But uh, you can put, like, your merch shop on your Instagram account. That's now, what I want. Like, we yeah. just got that yeah. notification on there that we're able yeah, to I do literally, that. Yeah, I, I, I think, think they it just, just updated it, it, right, for content creators because yeah. there's a whole other, like, type of Instagram. Yeah, it's like a separate tab. It's like you've got your posts and reels and then merch. <laughs> Very oh, dramatic. OnlyFans hit you up? They did hit me up. <gasps> well, no, okay, so... So what was it, like, formal? They're like, yes. do you want to show your... <laughs> do you do you want a channel? And, like, how does that work? No, it wasn't like that. It was, like, it was kind of like they, they emailed me, and they're like, um, hey, like, you know, we love your content. They're trying to get away from, from like... Porn. From yeah. porn, yeah. From porn. But the uh, problem is the second that, like, the reason I, I didn't I, I didn't do it Cause like I, they wanted me to just like post like my guitar yeah. videos. It could be like an extra reaction that I didn't yeah. post to my YouTube or something. Uh, like a Patreon. Yeah, okay. there are people on there that right. aren't 
fucking themselves with <laughs> dildos. Yeah. I had like the funniest idea for it too. It would be like just like guitar videos, but I put like just like disgusting captions, like, <laughs> <laughs> just, like really sexual captions. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it would be really funny. But like, like the reason guitars. I didn't do it is like you can't like for me at least my biggest platform is on TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. And for me to bring people like you can't even say the word OnlyFans on TikTok. You can't put a link to OnlyFans on TikTok. Mm -hmm. so, I like, heard for you me can't do it. that. You can't put a link in a lot of places. There's like, so many. It's it's you strict. Can't, you can put it on you can put it on uh Instagram, but you can't you can, like right. say it. You have to say it the other site. You gotta put it right. Like it's it's like it's crazy. And I was like, you know, it's just so much work and like to really make good money off of it, like you've gotta really bring you know, like if you bring a thousand people over, like mm -hmm. that's good money. Like, you're, yeah, you're it's every, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. but like, it's like, if you can't, how am I going to promote it? If I can't even say the word, it's just, like, yeah, you know, I was like, I was like, we it. fell into that a lot with like a marijuana leaf, like, like, oh, I bet a, like pot same. plants or smoke or oh, anything. Dude, especially it's just with like TikTok. wild. TikTok is so strict, man. Yeah, like, so our goal immediately was to get banned without how having any followers. Dude, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, dude, and I, we just kind of. Cleaned it up a little bit. It's hard, man. Even for my stuff, and my shit's not even that like raunchy. Yeah. Like it's mm -hmm. pretty clean. You know, I I have to be so careful, and it sucks because now I'm in a position where I, TikTok blew up by accident. Mm -hmm. Like it just I I I hated it before. I was really against it. I felt like I was too old for it. Right, and I, you I, felt I, like you were like too old for it. Oh man, and I'm really too old for it. I did too. Felt, he felt he, he felt like he was too old. I, I was against like it when they were talking about banning TikTok in the U.S. I was like, "Fucking do it! Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, like what does it do to me? Like yeah, I've never seen a TikTok in my life, and then mm -hmm. it, it started the, spooling into Facebook. And I started Instagram. seeing it though, like as like like 2020 came around, I started seeing like the way radio was working and like the way these songs are blowing up now. Even like it, it's just it seems like like the music industry right now is what song is most popping on TikTok, and it's like these yeah. random things, and you're, you're getting like these bedroom producers that are ending mm -hmm. up on Z100. Yeah, you know, it's, it's because of things like that. So I I I held myself accountable to it. I was like, well, I'm making these videos for YouTube. Why not just you know repurpose them? I was gonna put them on Instagram anyways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So why not just take them and just throw them on there too? So that was a question I had for you. Like you have to stay pretty updated and current yeah. with like the music that yeah. is like popular at the time is that <laughs> annoying for you it do you like hard. enjoy it well the thing is like it like one youtube video a week i'm probably learning like 20 new songs a week at mm -hmm. least yeah and it's hard so like it gets to a point where like i don't I, I, like it, it's really hard not to repeat songs and i try to keep it as fresh as i can mm -hmm. but do obviously like you you repeat a lot and like it's hard to keep it exciting and new sometimes. So do you play the song or do you ask them always like what they want to hear? I find that the videos of mine that have gone the most viral have always been situations where somebody's like, I bet you can't play this. And they give me a song on the spot. Oh. Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing. Like my, my videos, like I think the reason people like it is because I'll learn that shit like on the spot. I'll listen to it Eruption. Once. Mm -hmm. I saw that video. Yeah. yeah, that one. I butchered it. Like I don't actually know how to play it, but I think because I butchered it, Mm -hmm. I think it got even more engagement because all the guitar haters are like, oh, well, you missed the 16th note. Yeah. I'm like, dude, nobody cares. Like, yeah. it's like, yeah. you know? But I think that's a big reason why some of those videos blow up. It's a lot of people that are just... Because it's haters raw. Haters make it famous. Yeah, trying to gatekeep it. Like, what did yeah. you have first, TikTok or YouTube? Uh, I think... So my YouTube... I think my YouTube was at maybe... Probably like... Uh, I was at about 80,000 subscribers when my TikTok blew up. On uh, well, I was on on YouTube. I was at eighty thousand, and then mm -hmm. TikTok. I was at like uh, maybe eighteen thousand, and then I had one video of me. Some girl, the same situation. Some girls like, I bet you can't play this. Shows me through the fire and flames, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I just did like. Well, I was like, I'm not gonna do like the shreddy version of it. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. I, I I'm a guitarist at first, but like, mm -hmm. I my whole thing is I take shit and just totally change it and just do yeah, it you make it your own thing. thing. Yeah. I butcher yeah. songs for a living. Like that's what I do, and so I just did like the singer songwriter y like chill version of it. And I went to bed, and the next day I had like 10 million views. I'm like, what is what? And it just kept going. Wow. It kept going. I was like, holy crap. That's and there's cool. a, there was one day I remember I gained 100,000 uh, followers on TikTok in one day. Wow. Wow. I was like, I've never seen anything like it. I, the whole day I was just refreshing my phone. I was like, what? It's just Fuck. like. Turn off notifications for a minute. Like, no, I left them on. I just kept getting like, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Because, dude, like, I, I, I took shots in the dark every day for two. I posted a TikTok a, a day almost for two years. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden, it was like, holy shit. That's like, all it takes. Finally. Like, yeah, yeah, something yeah. fucking went. Yeah. Like, because mm -hmm. it, it, it was, I remember I was going to give up on this shit for a little bit, too. Like, it, it was, it was, it took, it was a slow burn. Mm -hmm. Like, a very slow burn. But finally, just that one just went. And then I just, I kept hitting that same spot. And I figured, I got into my rhythm. 
Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. but yeah. it was it was definitely hard. I feel like to get that's through. a movie. Yeah, it felt like one. <laughs> you know, like when the superhero like puts his like suit in the trash or like you know yeah. wants to hang it up. No, it was, it was pretty much dude. The pandemic is like fucked up as it was. Like it was like the perfect storm for me, and it it made me like grow up. It made me figure out all the shit. It did a lot of good for me. Yeah, and it, being able to reach so many people online during that. Yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of people just took the time to just reevaluate their lives. Well, yeah, in a positive mm-hmm. way. Yeah. For like for me, it was <clears throat> sorry. Um you kind of had to adapt and w- like when I was going out like and you were performing and the same thing for me, I, I was just like, "Well, what am I going to do now?" Yeah, and I was like, "What?" I really sat and I thought about it. I was like, "Okay, well, what was my biggest like hurdle?" while I was busy right. and it came down to not having the time I needed to, to mm-hmm. learn a new craft or to like master something and clean up my shit. Right. So I was like, okay, that's my number one priority. Right. So use the time to yeah. grow. You yeah. had all the You're time. Right. That's mm-hmm. the thing. That's, that's the most important thing, man. So many people, like a lot of my musician friends, especially like uh, they, they, the, it hit and they just did, didn't do anything. Yeah. They just said, all right, I'm going to wait until things get better. Uh Kind of got like tired almost and like like, wanted a vacation. I I was like, like what if it doesn't get better? You know, like what? Yeah, what if it doesn't? Mm -hmm. It it, shit was like, it happened quick. I was like, what? Well, like, you know, what are we gonna do? I had spine fusion during the pandemic. Holy shit! (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. How'd that go? I I can I'm not paralyzed. Yeah, he got all so. drugged up and showed me his wiener on FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> he called me like basically right when I came out of and like right when they brought me into recovery. No, way. and like I think I I guess I just called him straight away. He's like, I gotta pee into this bottle. How many ounces do you think I could fill it to? And I'm like, Dude. Dude, if that isn't friendship right there. Yeah, like- we went Facebook Live too, and then like afterwards, he was like, oh, I'm getting released. I was like, Well, what's going on? He's like, Oh, they're driving me. And I'm like, Well, that's gonna suck. You want to smoke some weed on your ride home? <laughs> like, yeah. Because I picked them up. That's nice. Aww. It was a good time. Yeah. Hit every bump on the way. That's crazy. Oh, that's got to hurt, God, man. Damn. How, what's the recovery like, though, for something like that? I was laid up in the bed for, like, three days. Okay. And then walking with a walker for two, a week or two. Yeah. Then with a cane for a couple months. No shit, really. Yeah. Yeah, man, that that hurts. That's yeah. gotta be painful. Yeah. I mean, it still is. It yeah, still uh, is. You but still you have a lot of problems with your back. Yeah, still? yeah, yeah. Dude, holy shit! But it is what it is. You but know, it's a, it's kind of a blessing in disguise because that all happened during right. the pandemic when right. nothing really was going on, and then it was the birth of this. If there was ever a time for something yeah. like that to happen, yeah. it's like it, mm-hmm. it, it works yeah. out. Stars kind of aligned. Yeah, it was like, all right, well, if we're, we're gonna fuck him, we might as yeah. well put him, do it at the, the best time. Yeah, that's crazy though, man. That's, that's gotta, that's gotta be painful, man. Ooh. Nah, it, I mean, yeah, it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Have, have you ever been life. approached by an OnlyFans uh, account holder to do production for an OnlyFans? Like, no, oh no, like, like music wise. Not even. Or just like to camera help set and it like, up. Yeah, set I it. have some friends that like I, that do it for a living, you know? And so like once in a while, like they'll text me like, hey, I can't get my, I'm having a hard time. Get, or like a lot, the thing is, a lot of my friends that do OnlyFans, like these girls also stream on, on Twitch and everything mm-hmm. too. Like so they're, they they're, have game, their they're streamers, up. right? Mm-hmm. And it's like there's their side hustle too. So like yeah. they'll do stuff like that. So like every once in a while, they'll be like, hey, how do I, I my OBS isn't working. Like mm-hmm. what, what's my bit rate? Like <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Something that's like that. wild. That's cool. Because uh, we get a lot of that too. Like, oh yeah. We well, that's what we want to do with the studio. Like, not yeah. OnlyFans, but I mean, that'd be cool. They can yeah, do it. But, uh, <laughs> it's rentable for anything you want to do in here. Except, oh, yeah. yeah, I don't. Yeah, so you just gotta clean up your mess. Yeah, and pay. leave no traces. Yeah, <laughs> put the plastic down. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not bringing in your own stuff. <laughs> you can't fuck on our couch. Leave our couch alone. Yeah, only we <laughs> can fuck on our couch. Yeah, you can't fuck on our couch. <laughs> but we can't even. Fuck. It's actually a rule. Yeah. No fucking on the couch. Really real? yeah. yeah, no fucking on the couch. I feel like that's fair though. You no, guys yeah, yeah, yeah. both have yeah. to sit on that couch a lot. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I feel We're like respectful. that's cool. Yeah. You gotta respect the space. Yeah, it's fair. Yo, what do you guys listen to? Like what what's like your, your favorite shit? Dude, honestly, if you saw my Apple 
shit. Yeah. yeah, I'm all over the board. Me really? too. Everything. I feel like that's, that's how Everything. I yeah. Everything. That's cr- I, I'm the same way. I'm a big punk guy. That's yeah. my mm-hmm. roots, but I can't always just listen to that. No, I feel that. So, way. like, I switch it up. I'll even I, now my new guilty pleasure is lo-fi. Do you say? I just mm-hmm. put it on in the background on YouTube or something that's like lo-fi live editing, channels. I, I love it. Sleep. And yeah. you know what? I figured out that um, I, I've been making like in the background of all my YouTube videos, like when I first started out, yeah, I started like a, another channel with like a secret name and I was putting out a lo-fi beat every week Oh, cool! Right. to accompany my background music for my video because I kept getting copyright claimed on oh. everything. Oh. And I was like, well, I'm just going to make my own. That's Screw great. It. But lo-fi beats are easy to make. Like it's just a couple but of But now it won't copyright you if it's posted on YouTube already? No, if it's on YouTube already, it's fine. It's the more uh, the problem is if you start publishing it to other I, platforms. I, I mean, like, I just ran into this situation, like, like my EP that's out. Like, whenever I play those songs, I get hit with a copyright claim, and then I have to email the the distributor that put my songs out, and be like, hey, can you not claim that? And it's like a whole a whole thing. Mm-hmm. But like, it, or like most of the claims that I get for playing covers though are usually like shared revenue. Mm-hmm. But like through like ASCAP or uh yeah pretty much stuff like that okay or the YouTube content ID is basically what okay you know, they, they Chris was them. talking about something with Spotify too there's like an yeah. account that you could link it with what is it Spotify and any any that like it gives you a certain amount of songs to use or a certain oh bracket. yeah you can play music on Spotify yeah I think I know what you're talking about it's one of those licensing websites right uh, I think so and I think it I think it's based off of like how many views you get got you yeah but. Like you, you can just X straight away, for, like yeah. right now, if I upload this video, the either the audio or the video to to Anchor, right, it'll allow me to put music. Okay. Without, hmm. I guess, without getting copy, I I don't own it's, any it's licenses. It's some kind of a blanket license or something. Then, yeah, I, I, I don't, maybe yeah. just because it's YouTube is considered video advertising. It depends. Every 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 song's different, man. Yeah. I've been in situations where, like, even like maybe I made a beat. <clears throat> But I took like a sample from Splice, mm-hmm. which is like you, you pay for it to use it, right? Yeah. But if you don't chop up your samples enough, mm-hmm. I learned that lesson the hard way. I put it on YouTube, and then every YouTube video that I posted, somebody made a song with that same loop, and then put it out, and then claimed it as their own, oh. and they started trying to take uh, all my YouTube revenue. Oh wow! So I had to dispute all of it, and it was like it's it's the content ID and like copyright is such a shit show right now, man. It's is like, there a time limit of how many seconds you can play a song without having to go through a copyright? I don't know what the exact number is, but I just, I just don't fuck with it. Dude, it's fast. It's, it's short. Quick. Fast. Like, even I don't like, even think it's like three and seconds. Are you yeah. protected under covers? N- well, you're supposed like, like some parody, right? Depends on the song. Wow. Like, like, there's songs that I've played. Like, if I, like, I remember one time I was going to play um, Space Oddity by David Bowie mm-hmm. as, a, as a cover. And it got hit with a copyright claim that blocks it in different countries. Yeah. And okay. they, they, one, they take all the revenue from the video because every song's different. And the fucked up part, and this is where the, a lot of the problems with copyright come in, at least for my videos, I'll have maybe 20 songs in a video, right? Let's say Space Oddity gets hit with a copyright claim and they decide they don't want to share the revenue with me. They take 100% of the revenue because I played 45 seconds of this song, mm. right? And, and then, a bunch of songs. But what about all the other songs? Yeah. It's a 20 minute video. That's 45 seconds. What about the other artists that I played? You should their get a songs? lawyer. Everybody. I have one. Okay. But and he, they can't do anything about that? They, they, there's certain things they can do, but I, I feel like it's better just keep my mouth shut yeah. Yeah. with a lot like of this stuff and just try to avoid it. Though. Like, I, it's just a song. Now so I know. Do you don't have, play that one again. Do you, how do you find these out? Do you have to research it? You learn the hard way, man. <laughs> you just yeah. do it? and if it, I, mm-hmm. I cover songs, and if one of them gets hit, then I, I always leave my videos up there to, to in private mm-hmm. to get scanned. Oh, okay. oh, that's smart. Yeah, and then they uh they hit it back. But every video that I've ever posted gets. And then what do you do? Groups. Release it as a premiere after, or uh, how do you like? How does that affect your watch times? The and premiere your, thing? L- not that. I, I do want to touch that. Yeah, yeah. But um, touch it. Touch it all. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, where were we? Damn, I'm such a. So the copyrights. Yeah. How it, does that affect? Does it does the copyright affect the views? So no no keeping right. it private. Yeah, you were saying? yeah 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 yeah. Oh oh okay. So, or doing a premiere versus you know mm-hmm. that's next. That's okay saying. yeah yeah yeah. So it, yeah if you if you upload it private you have to then upload it again not private. Or do you just remove no, you, the setting? You, when you switch it to public that's when it gets uh, posted. Okay, uh, cool. So, cool. so it doesn't affect your numbers at all. Well, no. Oh, because nobody's watching it. No, like all smart. the time, like if I have a sponsored video too, like I'll upload just the ad as a private video, mm-hmm. and then I'll, I'll have, and it'll I'll still get, get scanned for copyrights that way. Well, yeah, sure. And then uh, basically, well, as you upload it, it 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 scans right. It'll mm-hmm. say checking for copyright. Yeah, yeah. And there's a percentage that goes. Wait, it takes like a certain amount of time. Whatever. 
But um, whenever I have a sponsored video, I have to, the ad has to get approved by the brand, right? So like I'll send the 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 little intro clip where I'm talking about their product, make sure they're cool with it, and yeah. then when they they're okay with it, then I delete that, and then I upload the the full video again, and that I'll do that as private, mm-hmm. and I wait for the checks to get done, and then mm-hmm. I make it public. How it, uh the checks are th- does that take a certain amount of time after it uploads, or is it usually the same day? Yeah, it's usually pretty quick. Okay, it's cool. usually like 20, 30 minutes, maybe an hour max. They'll, they'll, oh, that's and there's good a to new know. option, dude. It's so clutch. We're like. You post a video and they're like, okay, it's taking longer than usual. Do you want us to text you when it's done? Oh, or like cool. Some, some notification from YouTube pops up. Nice. It's like the best thing. Oh, that's nice. cool. Yeah. That's been, that's been how I've been doing I premiere all my videos. So I, I do all my Yeah. Like let's that. touch that. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you primarily operate off of Twitch now. So you, you, you'll, you'll stream and then. Um, well, I'm not allowed to stream. I used to stream the premieres while I was live on Twitch, but with like the contract Twitch gives you, you, yeah. can't, you can't do both at the same time. Gotcha. So now my way of growing my Twitch, a lot of streamers, like, they think, like, you could just grow on Twitch by, like, grinding Twitch, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, the way you really grow, you bring people from, like, another platform that you've grown on Mm -hmm. and bring them over. So, like, for YouTube, like, I'll maybe I'll get, sometimes I'll get, like, you know, maybe, like, 500 to 1,000 people watching the premiere. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that video, when it's done, I just spam the Twitch, like, all right, live stream starting right now. Bam, and then I bring oh, all those people over. Smart. And it helps, and like uh, barely any of them come. Yeah, right. But that's the best way to grow. Every time yeah. I do that, I'll gain like fifty followers. Like, Virtual stickers. Yeah, cool. yeah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. So it's that's cool. Awesome. But premiering, like versus publishing, I think it really comes down to like what types of videos that you post. I think any videos that are like, I don't know, ten minutes to like ten minutes and over mm-hmm. are premierable. I think anything shorter than that, I think it's too short to really make a difference. We typically do an hour, and I you're I remember talking to you briefly about this before. Yeah. The benefit, like, so say we had a strict schedule and we were here at Monday six o'clock every week, right? Mm-hmm. We would premiere our video at Monday five o'clock every week and be in the chat, right? right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And talk with our fans mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. be like, all right, well, we're getting ready for next week's episode, blah blah blah, or we could stream it on Twitch and then sure, cut yeah, it yeah. up and then make that our next premiere. No, I, you know, it's weird, man. I think the, above all that, uh, like the thing that I've learned like from doing all this shit, I think the most important thing is you kind of want to become part of like people's daily routine. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I think once you can do that, it's, it's, it's like the same thing as like, um, it's almost kind of like, like training puppies, which sounds kind of weird, but like if you, the, your dog knows yeah. what, when they get hungry, yeah. right? It's mm-hmm. always around the same time every day. Yeah. And so people expect your content at the the same time. Like if you look at um this kid Ryan Trahan, I don't know if you you followed that whole thing. No. no. He, this kid he crossed America to deliver a penny to Mr. Beast, and he posted a video every morning what? of oh, wow. him doing this whole thing. So uh, he became part I of everybody's routine. Every oh, day cool. I'd wake up, I'd have, I'd go get my breakfast. When I came back, oh Ryan's video's up. And did they know that he was coming to deliver a penny? Yeah, yeah, it was all planned out. Oh, okay. Right? Cool. But it was exciting to watch the whole thing. It's like day to day, it becomes part of your routine. And yeah. he grew, he gained millions of subs in, in just that one month of doing that video. So then we should just, uh, wait, it's every day? Well, he doesn't, like, for me, I do one video a week. Oh, so, okay. like, every Wednesday at 2 p.m., like, my... So he recorded friends, all that content and then released it every slowly? Every day, a video every day. Wow. wow. He, you know, he had editors, he was uploading the footage, to, he had people go on the road with him, and he, he did it every day. We should do that when we do our, uh, our cross-country to Vegas. Yeah. That would be sick. We yeah. want to do a mobile sick. studio, and we're going to yeah. drive to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Supplying his hot sauce. Oh, that would be so cool. And uh, I love that. yeah, he's he's. That sounds like that sounds like a movie already. Like that's such right? a, it's like it's it's such a simple concept, right? Yeah. But it's like so simple that like people would love that. Two stoners just yeah, just go yeah. selling yeah. hot sauce. Deliver hot sauce. Like that's amazing. Like yeah, that's, like, that's a fucking. And for me thing. to get punched in the face repetitively. <laughs> <laughs> We lost a subscriber. We we we. Oh, well, is that the worst? We lost yeah. two. Mm-hmm. I hate we that. We lost two. Dude, I lost ten thousand. Since my TikTok ban. Uh, oh my what? god, ten thousand. Uh, yeah. Yikes. Well, people are just like, oh, you're not on TikTok anymore. Fuck no, it was you. before that. It was just going down, dude. It was a point where when I was shadow banned, I think I was. It seemed like it, but I was losing thousands every day. Yeah. For every day, what the hundreds fuck? every day. But those two, like compared to like what our total is, is yeah. like really a it gut wrenching. It's <laughs> gut wrenching. It it's annoying. It, it always hurts. It always hurts. Mm. It sucks. Yeah. It's hard, man. And that it, the. The worst is like when you post a YouTube video and then they rank it one to ten. You know what I'm talking oh. about? And then you like uh, my I got like for uh for your covers. 
Yeah, like for like viewership. So like okay. like the uh, the video that I posted last week, I I find the harder I work on something, the more the, shit it yeah. performs. Really? Yeah. It's insane. It's ridiculous. Do you like, think it's because it seems too polished? I don't know. And they like the they like the grit. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's like not the even low quality, low budget films. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's a big thing where it's like, I I really strive for more like vibe over perfection mm-hmm. with stuff. You know, like none of my shit's perfect. Yeah, you know, but I it's always like the idea I'm most excited about is always the one that nobody cares about. I'm like, god damn it. That's always how it is. I mean, yeah, I feel my like my art that. too. I, yeah, I know a lot of like original artists that like or cover artists that will drop an original song. Yeah, nobody fucking supports yeah. it. And yeah. then everybody's like, oh, can you play this? Yeah. Right. Support your friends, man. You got to yeah. support so your like, friends. So, like, if your friend owns a restaurant or if your friend has, like, don't say, can I get a hookup? No. You should want to pay there, extra. Pay extra. Mm-hmm. Tip them. Yeah. Take, like, bring a bunch of people and spend money. Like, that's Hell supporting yes. your friends. Don't yeah. look for a hookup. Yeah, absolutely not. Sorry, agreed. that was a rant. Sorry. <laughs> agreed, agreed, agreed. That would hit home. But no, for real, it makes a really big difference. Yeah. It really does. And you could tell like who, who the real ones are from stuff like that. You're right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You thanks, always... Blaine. Mm. Love yeah. you, Blaine. You but yeah, man. Uh thanks for coming on. Dude, dude. it's course. always yeah. great chilling. No, You're no, always welcome you here. Guys are the best. Um, dude, yeah, I, was... I feel like I could do a couple episodes with you. I'm always down. Yeah, <laughs> we could we're definitely gonna run this back for sure. Hell yeah, dude. Sure. Anytime you guys want. There yeah, will man. be a part two. Yeah. And also like yeah. I, I like I told you, I was like, I'm never playing a gig with my band again without you. Oh, thank you. Like, Aww. I refuse. I, he, okay. he made me sound so good. I was the, like, yo, what? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to yeah. DJ Audio. Yeah. We, we, we got, uh, I think, the music on the board, too. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you do. But, yeah, bands, if you ever need a guy, like, literally, the guy. Thanks. Mm-hmm. The guy. This dickhead right here. Yeah. And I say dickhead, and I mean that, and he knows I mean that. <laughs> in the nicest way possible. I used the word dickbag today. In just That's emojis, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, like eggplant, like handbag. Like a, oh, yeah. a shopping bag. bag. Or was it like, yeah. Yeah, if you type in bag, it's like the, the stock image. Like what? a shop, mm-hmm. like a like yeah, like a tote bag. Yeah. I have a shopping bag. Yeah. No, I don't think it's a tote bag. <laughs> A shopping bag, isn't it? No, I think it was like a like a purse. It's more like a uh, dick bag. It's, it's yeah, it's a dick bag. That's exactly. Yeah, yeah, it is gotcha. what it is. Bag of dicks. Yeah. Okay. Bag of dicks. Bag of dicks. Mm-hmm. dicks. But anyway, guys, <laughs> all of Billy's info will be in the link just in the description. Everything. Um, like I said, he's support. not banned on TikTok. You I'm can back. follow. Yeah, he's, he's back. back. Yeah, you can follow me there. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got to get back to where I was. I lost so many. Like, please follow me. Yeah, all, <laughs> all of his info will be in the description below. Don't forget to check out his uh, merch shop on Instagram and YouTube. You can do that. There you go. And as well as ours in the future because it's coming. And you get a couch, and you get a sofa, and and also while we're on the topic of uh, of merch, they might be sold out by then. So, just so you guys know, bitch, cop Special one. Edition. It's like a really high quality poster, too. Mm-hmm. That's Super like really limited nice. edition. Once these are gone, they're gone. They're but never, they're ever, lost. ever, ever, ever going to see them it's again. It's perfectly Ooh, in shiny. a record frame. Yeah. <laughs> we signed them. They're personalized. And, um, yeah, one of you motherfuckers that bought it got a mystery gift. So, when you see this episode, let me know what the mystery gift was. Stay clouded. Later. Love that. That's awesome, man. That's great. I love this. Like and subscribe. Too. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Connect with the Two Clouded Mind Show. Follow them on Instagram and TikTok at the underscore number two underscore clouded underscore minds underscore show at the number two clouded on Twitter and the Two Clouded Mind Show on Facebook. Get the Two Cloud of Mind Show podcast wherever you get your podcasts. And of course, subscribe to their YouTube channel and hit that notification bell.